Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lacey at Laces and Ribbons. Um, I have been crafting, so I wanted to come and show you what I guys, what you guys would have been making. I me, I did a whole bunch of shakers and cutouts of some um, of the stamps that I got from Tina and AliExpress. And I'm also working on a butterfly album and these this album I got from that auction house worth all the craft stuff so I've just cut out there's eight pages and I just cut out paper to match so I'm gonna be working on that and decorating it and I even thought maybe it'd be cute to make a pocket out of these I don't know so firstly I did this here, this butterfly, and it is a shaker. And if you guys want links to any of these, just let me know. I'll leave a link down in the description. So this is that die. This is from Timu, I think. Either Timu or AliExpress, but I can give you a link to both. So this is what it looks like. And it opens so it can like, it's a bag topper. It can go over the top of a bag and just make it cute. And I did use Woodland Grove, the new uh, Maggie Helms collection. And here's another one. And then this is the opposite cutouts. I even used the foam from the inside of these butterflies just so I wouldn't waste anything. I mean, and that's still really cute for a bag topper. So I did those. And then I did these really pretty flowers, which is this die. And this die. It was so confusing to me. I literally had to like cut out one flower at a time. I mean, well, of course, but I mean to match it up and mismatch it. Like my brain could not wrap itself around like doing opposite colors. Like I, I don't know why I was having such a hard time with this, but I don't know if you guys, for me, it's not easy for me to use dyes. Maybe just because I haven't ever really used a lot of them. But um, they can be really complicated and it is, it is an art to put these together. So a lot of the ladies that I see do it, I mean, they are just, they're professionals. So anyways, let's see here. This goes here. This is the bottom. This is the top to that. And then this one goes on top. So this is what it does. And this is the little thing that goes right there. And this is what it looks like. I, um... Gave mine some dimension just by curling them up with my finger. And I put a little foam here just to give it some dimension. But they turned out really cute. And then I mixed in some cardstock so it's not all just Maggie Helms paper. But those are them. So I did those. And I'm using those little sleeves from my last haul to put, when I open them all up, there's so many little pieces. And then this flower is this one that you layer up. And it, it's like almost, it doesn't really go in any particular order except the very middle. Um, this goes on top of this. And then this goes on top of this. And then so forth like this. Let me just see here. I can show you the order it goes in. I don't know if you guys have this die, but it was um, not easy for me to like learn how to do it. I had to figure it out on my own. And this is what they looked like. And I love this little dimension here in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. But they came out really pretty. 
there was no pictures, and I think I got this off Allie, but there was no pictures on how to put this thing together. You kind of have to just guess. And somebody that doesn't really do dyes, it was not, I didn't, I didn't like it. It wasn't fun. But I really like how they all came out and they really are beautiful. And they're all different. And those, the Maggie Holmes colors are really pretty. I love that blue. And I don't like blue, but I really love that blue. I like this blue better, like a green blue. But they look like that. And then I did this dye. Whoops. I am clumsy. I did this dye, which is, is like a slide shaker. And I used glue too much. I used too much wet glue and it was like, it warped it. So it kind of ruined it, but I think I can decorate down here and then put it on a project and you won't even tell, but that's that one. And then this jar, it's supposed to be a rabbit jar. Like you put little rabbit ears on top, but I didn't do any of that. I haven't decorated any of these. But this is my jar. And then this thing is adorable. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just, I love furniture. So that is that. And this is how they came out. I did three of them. And I cut them out with the paper and then cardstock. And I backed them with cardstock because when you open it, there's this really skinny line. But I thought that would be cute, like an interactive card or something. I don't know. Or even embellishments. They'd be really cute. Anyways, I made these three. So here's the second one. And then the last one with the blue. And that's my project share. That's what I've been making and playing with. There's one more thing. Let me just move this out of the way. I did get this uh, second hand and it is a dresser and I had my husband pull these um, little handles off so I could put the Maggie Holmes paper here like one of my favorite papers and it is a drawer. I've got trim in it right now. I've got that organza trim in it from Hobby Lobby. But how cute is this? So cute, I love it. Um, anyways, that's my, that's my um, project shares. I'll leave that for my thumbnail. Get it down a little bit more. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.